Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great new year so far. I cannot believe that it's finally 2018. So I thought that I would kick off this year with doing a December favorites for you guys. So I've got lots of random things. I basically categorized everything into makeup, skincare, one hair item, and then some random food, snack bits, as well as a TV show, favorite movie, and then a favorite sort of technology accessory. So I guess we'll go ahead and do the makeup first. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. And I got this in my Ipsy bag, I believe, for the month of December. And as soon as I received it, I started using it pretty much every day. And it's actually really, really nice. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the brush possibly being too um, clumpy because the bristles are super, super short. But because the bristles are really short, they are actually really good with getting right into the roots of your lashes and helping to lift and volumize at the roots, which is exactly what my lashes need because they are very long and they are very curly, but they're pretty sparse where uh, my lashes actually start. There's lots of little gaps. So this fills in the gaps really, really well. And for the price point, this is $5 at the drugstore. So I am very impressed with this so far. I don't know if it's going to necessarily replace my favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, but I am really enjoying this so far. So that is that. And then another staple in my makeup bag throughout the month of December and honestly most of November too has been the Manicadar HD Powder. And this is just a setting powder, so I've been applying this into my T-zone and it has really actually made a major difference in how oily my face gets throughout the day. I have combination skin and this really actually pretty much makes it so I don't even have to touch up throughout the day, which is so nice. I've been kind of looking in the mirror throughout the day and thinking, oh boy, my face must be so shiny. And then actually seeing my reflection and thinking, wow, there's no shine yet. So this is awesome. So really been loving that. And then when I did my ColourPop order, I believe it's been at least a month now. But when I did my ColourPop order, I got myself the Hair Kitty Kitty um, highlighter. And this has become an absolute staple in my makeup routine. Been using this pretty much every single day. It's just a beautiful champagne color and a little bit goes a long way. You need the tiniest bit and it just gives a beautiful sheer glow to your skin. And I really appreciate that it does not look um, glittery, that it actually looks kind of more like you have a healthy sheen to your skin, like you're healthy, like you're glowing from within kind of a look. And last but not least, pretty much my everyday go-to lip product has been the Too Faced Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Fig. And my little sister gave this to me last month when I went home to Canada and she cleaned out some of her makeup stash and she very nicely gave me this and I absolutely love it. So thank you. All right, so next moving right along on to skincare. I've been using a lot more lip products lately and I wanted to get myself some face wipes that would be really helpful with removing my makeup at night. And the Simple Sensitive Skin face wipes have been super, super helpful in my nightly routine of taking my makeup off. So first I will remove my eye makeup as well as the lip makeup with this. And then I will go um, into using the product that I'm going to talk about next and then finishing off with uh, kind of a third cleanse, I guess you could say, which is with my Neutrogena face wash. So I've really been enjoying this. It does not 
irritate my skin. It hasn't made me break out. And what I really appreciate is that it does not burn my eyes when I use it. There's been so many makeup remover products that I have used that have just absolutely burned. And when my eyes burn, I can barely even open my eyes and, you know, tears start streaming down my face and it is just a hot mess. So these have not irritated me whatsoever. So if you're looking for a good face wipe, definitely recommend this one. So after I've been using the simple face wipes, then I will go over everything with uh, the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. And this is a product that I redeemed with my points off of Ipsy. I think this was 300 points, either 250 or 300, I can't remember. But this is actually really nice. It's kind of a thick creamy kind of a formula. It has a very pleasant sort of a floral scent to it and basically all I do is just put a little dab over both eyes and a little dab onto every area of my face and then I kind of just rub it in like a moisturizer and then I uh, wet a little face towel with some hot water. Well, lukewarm hot and uh, then just go over my face with the washcloth and then finish off with my cleanser and that takes off all of my makeup. So again, really nice, doesn't burn my eyes, doesn't irritate my skin, hasn't made me break out and it smells lovely which is always a big plus in my book because I am a sucker for things that smell good. If it smells good, I am way more likely to use it than if it didn't smell good. So this next product is uh, the detangling spray that I got in uh, my birch box at the beginning of December and I have been using this pretty much every single time that I've been washing my hair and it's the Beauty Protector Detangling Spray and it is really really nice but I have noticed that it does make my hair a little bit on the oily side. So I have cut down on using one to two spritzes instead of two to three spritzes. So that has made a bit of a difference. It is a bit better um, as far as making my hair oily. But I do definitely like it and it does make a huge difference in um, brushing out my hair when it's wet after I get out of the shower. So, so moving right along. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is really random, but eggnog. I was obsessed with the Dairy Gold eggnog throughout the whole month of December. I feel like eggnog is a necessity during this time of year. So about halfway through December, I thought, you know, what would be really good making eggnog hot chocolate. So that's exactly what I did and it turned out absolutely delicious. So the hot chocolate that I use is the Nestle rich milk chocolate flavor. I'm definitely a bigger fan of milk chocolate rather than dark chocolate so this one is our favorite and so basically what I would do is boil the hot water, uh, do two scoops of uh, the Nestle hot chocolate and fill up a cup about halfway with hot chocolate and then I would separately warm up the eggnog with a little bit of whipping cream in it so that it would fluff up the eggnog a little bit and while it was warming up I would continually whisk it so that it would really kind of fluff it up and make it kind of frothy and then pour them together and stir it together and if you've never tried eggnog hot chocolate I highly recommend it and I'm sorry ahead of time because you're probably gonna get as hooked on it as I was during December but this was the last of the eggnog this is empty by the way and um, I'm, I'm, I'm very sad that it's gone but oh next wow. I would like to mention the book that I've been reading and I've literally been trying to finish reading this over the past like 
like three weeks. Um, so this is The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. And it's a really lovely novel. Honestly, what drew me to this is the cover. It's blue. It's got a lighthouse on it, gold lettering, and stars. So that's exactly what drew me to this book, but it's really nice so far. It's about a couple who um, live on the ocean shore in a lighthouse, basically, and uh, just kind of the um, adventure um, and things that happen to them. I don't want to give too much of it away in case you know, you are reading it and you haven't gotten too far into the book or you want to read it. So anyway, I do highly recommend it. It is very well written and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how uh, the ending turns out. Another thing that I really liked was on the inside, how it's got like all these uh, dates and everything. It basically looks like a lighthouse log book. So I thought that that was really cool and a neat little piece of detail. So that is what I am currently trying to finish reading. And last but not least, I have recently fallen back in love with my Nintendo. And this is the Nintendo 3DS XL. And I think I got this like two years ago for Christmas, I think, from my husband. And I have uh, Super Mario 1 and Super Mario 2 on here as well as a couple of other random games but right now I've been really enjoying playing Super Mario 2 and I have a love-hate relationship with Mario. I mean I get on a level that's super hard and I try you know what feels like a hundred times to be able to pass that level don't even get me started on trying to get the three gold stars. That's like impossible. They all have always all these hidden little passages and stuff. And I usually only end up getting the one star or the two stars. But if you're a 90s kid like me, um, then uh, I totally just lost track of what I was going to say. What else is new? Oh, I was going to say that if you're a 90s kid like me, then Super Mario and all that stuff is just like extra exciting. I remember uh, my cousin had a Nintendo system at uh, his place and he had so many of the Mario games and I just loved whenever we would go over to my cousin's house because I would get to play all the Mario games and that was just the best. It takes me back. And... Last but not least, the last thing I wanted to mention, right, was the TV show and the favorite movie. So favorite TV show, hands down, has to be uh, The Crown Season 2 on Netflix. So, so good. I was a little bit worried that Season 2 wasn't going to be as good as Season 1, but it's just as good, maybe even better. It's Claire Foy is the most amazing Queen Elizabeth ever. I don't think anybody else could, could ever top her performance. And I think the script is so clever. The music is so clever. All the, the details and everything are just spot on. And I just, I just love it. I love anything to do uh, with uh, the British and the Royals. So I am a huge sucker for that show. And it's, it's just, it's so well done. I'm, I can't wait until season three. So if you haven't seen it yet, and if you haven't seen season one, then definitely get on that crown train because it's awesome. And movie, let me see. Oh, actually, I know. I think last week we watched the last uh, Planet of the Apes movie and it was actually really, really good, surprisingly good. And it was really cool because uh, when they were showing the, um, the, uh, like the, the caves or whatever that the monkeys lived in, uh, surrounded with like all the waterfalls and everything, that place is actually a place in uh, British Columbia called Othello Tunnels 
And as soon as I saw that like little pathway with like the tunnel behind them, that's actually an old train tunnel. And I recognized it right away and I got so excited. And actually that huge uh, waterfall, if you've seen the movie, that's like to the side of the cave, that's all CGI. That waterfall is not there. Otherwise, if that waterfall was there, that would be pretty amazingly cool. But um, yeah, if, so if you're that pretty much it does it for uh, my favorites for the month of December and uh, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to start uploading my uh, videos now on Wednesday and Friday instead of Monday and Wednesday and I know that this uh, video is going to be a little bit late and I'm very sorry I just uh, started a new job this week actually so I have to kind of re-figure out my whole schedule and figure out kind of when and the how and when to upload and when to film. So I am sorry that this one is late, but I promise I will get right back on track. So, oh, I forgot to mention uh, the accessory favorite that I had for this month is the ring that I got from my little sister for Christmas. I've been wearing it every single day and I absolutely love it. I hope that you can see it. It's um, a crystal ring and it's so unique and yeah, it's gorgeous. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope, like I said, that you are having a great start of the year so far. I would love to know in the comments below what your New Year's resolutions are. If you have any, mine are pretty much to lose weight, get more organized, and get better with Instagram. And I would really like to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if uh, you're not subscribed yet, then hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my weekly uploads and help to make my New Year's resolution come true. I would be very, very grateful. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my weekly uploads. I hope you're having a great evening or a great day, whatever you're up to, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!